Hey, how's it, you guys? Aroma Surf Talk Story, Episode 2. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for dialing in, you guys. Super excited. Um, today, we're going to be talking about videos 6 through 10. Last week, if you watched the first episode, the debut of the Talk Story playlist, we did videos 1 through 5 and just kind of also talked about the theme and the concept behind our channel. So now that you kind of know that, we were going to just move on with videos six through 10 today and kind of talk a little bit about them. And if you have any questions, again, please leave comments, try these recipes. Um, they're super healthy, they're super fun, they're super easy. And uh, let us know after you try them, leave a comment. We really appreciate that. And if you like Aroma Surf videos and our channel and what we're doing, definitely let us know. It just gives us more fire in the engine. And also, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to please subscribe. We really uh, are excited. We want to get to the live streaming, as I mentioned in the first talk story last week. Um, soon come, you know, step by step. That's how everything in life is. And we're patient and we're going to work hard for you. So your subscriptions are so crucially loved. Thank you very much. Mahalo. Okay, enough talk. Getting to video number one, which was the tofu carpaccio. So, uh, Basically, we wanted to make a little different from the traditional style where it's a ginger and a soy sauce or a shoyu sauce. We wanted to step it up. We wanted to thicken our sauce. We added some grated carrots, a uh, half clove of garlic, of course. We love our garlic. Uh, some cane sugar, uh, a thicker sauce, and then we use a firm tofu. Now, in our recipe, any type of tofu will work. Um, I personally prefer firmer tofu, and so that's why we chose firmer tofu. Um, and I like firmer tofu pretty much in any type of tofu dish. Uh, that's just me. Again, if you like soft tofu, it's gonna taste just as wonderful. And all tofu is good, so I'm not discriminating tofu, okay? Um, don't forget your garlic, unless you're allergic. Um, again, here's a little picture. Um, I'm going through kind of the recipe real quick with you guys. Um, so yeah, we, we added the sesame oil, which really boosts the flavor um, in association with the shoyu, okay? So we've got our fresh grated carrots to thicken up the sauce, the half garlic clove, the raw cane sugar, the shoyu, and the ground black pepper. And now we've got a great little carpaccio sauce to dress over our firm tofu cubes and then we use a cherry tomato and a little negi, a little green onion to uh, garnish the top. Super simple, takes about 10 minutes to make. Great snack, refreshing, light, super healthy. Right on you guys, thanks for watching. Moving on, we're going to video number seven. Okay, in video number seven, this was a really fun one. This was the Happy Halloween theme, the pumpkin cheesecake. You can see the wifey and I there. We're excited, it's Halloween. It was a pandemic Halloween, so everybody was staying home and not going out really, but we were in the kitchen whipping up some killer cheesecake. Um, we added a nice little theme. This type of cheesecake that we made is a 24 hour minimum overnight set period, uh, which is really cool. So we used a kabocha pumpkin instead of uh, like a traditional pumpkin. And then um, we let it set overnight, caught a little morning surf session, Came back home for breakfast and made some espresso and had espresso and our pumpkin cheesecake for breakfast. It was such an awesome Halloween breakfast. Uh, definitely, don't forget, you guys, all the recipes are listed. I list every single thing. 
I try to translate in about 40 different languages, so subtitles, captions are always available. Um, if you don't see any captions, I just haven't caught up with that video yet, but generally I always include chapters and captions. Okay, so if you don't have the time to sit through maybe some of the beautiful scenes and you want to get right to the nitty gritty, right to the heart of the recipes, then just check out the chapters and it'll take you right there. Cool? Awesome. Okay, so uh, again, scrolling here. Pumpkin cheesecake. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, oh, we used a coconut milk biscuit for the crust for that cheesecake, which works really great. Um, we use that instead of the traditional graham cracker crust, um, which we love. However, the coconut biscuit is an awesome alternative. If you haven't tried it yet, it works really great, and it makes a great crust. Um, raw cane sugar. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, we use raw... <clears throat> excuse me, raw cane sugar pretty much exclusively for all of our baking. Uh, we just really like uh, how it doesn't create overkill in the flavor. It's very subtle and it's natural. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, um, moving on to video number eight. This one was fun. This is the stuffed squid. And um, we had a lot of fun making this, stuffing the shells. Uh, we also found that the bigger the squid shell, the easier it is to stuff. Kind of makes sense, right? Uh, the smaller the shell, the tighter the little, we call it puka or ana in Nihongo or hole. The tighter the hole is to stuff that stuffing. So a, a bigger shell makes it a lot easier. We wanted to throw some cheese in, some melted cheese. We did like a melted cheese and rice, some mixed cheeses on the inside. Super tasty. This one's super easy too. If you have any squid available, uh, definitely give this one a try. Uh, it's a great sampler too. You can make it for when the party comes over, a group of friends, everybody wants a bite of some nice kind of, a little bit crisp on the outside and then you've got that chewiness of the squid and then on the inside that melted cheese and rice. Very nice. Moving forward here. Um, video number nine. This is really cool. This is for the garlic lovers, of course. As you know, this is a garlic channel. This is the pressed garlic pasta. And it's in a miso sauce. Oh, man. Uh, this one's just really cool because there's a whole roasting period of the garlic and you're using the whole bulb uh, and roasting it first so that it basically is soft enough on the inside so that when we press and squeeze it out you just got this pressed garlic mash mm, really nice um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, all the music, I, you might have seen that already, but uh, all the music in all of our videos, all of our soundtracks is original music uh, that we created right here in the Aroma Surf Studios. It's Eyes of Blue, Roots Natty Roots music, and we really appreciate love the great sweet comments you guys have made about the music. Uh, our group, Roots Natty Roots, is still in effect, and now that the pandemic is kind of freeing up a little bit more as far as mobility of people going to things we're really excited we hope we can start making some nice music for everybody again and it's such a healing thing that it's really vital so uh keep your ears out posted roots natty roots eyes of blue music coming to a venue near you hopefully soon moving forward to the recipe um So yeah, we used a linguine pasta with that pressed garlic. Uh, we generally use linguine. We just kind of like linguine. It's kind of a nice, medium thick pasta and it works really well texture wise with the types of foods we prepare that are pasta based. Uh, Hawaiian salt. 
If you do look at our ingredients in the comments always, I always list that it's Hawaiian salt. Hawaiian salt is sea salt. It just happens to be sea salt from Hawaii, so that's why it's Hawaiian salt. But any sea salt from any sea, anywhere, is awesome, and it's definitely the way to go. I hope that you're using sea salts with all of your cooking and recipes at home. Um, iodized salt, rock salt, is not good for you, and it does not process cleanly through your body. So I would really try to, you know, avoid the iodized salt and get into a natural salt that just distributes through your body nice and clean, the way we love it. And for the uh, final video today, okay, uh, number 10, this is a really cool video. This one is the curry potato ball is the title. It's a nine spice potato ball. Basically, this is our original nine spice blend. Check out the video. Check out the ingredients. We bloom the spices live in the skillet so you guys can learn how to bloom spices and create uh, spice mixes that you can use again and again for different types of flavoring and seasoning with different dishes. We use nine different spices all together in the mix and that was the seasoning for our potato balls, stuffed potato balls, uh, of course, with some little veggie and melted cheese. Definitely check it out, you guys. Another super tasty little appetizer or sampler for the folks to pass around. And at the same time, the nine spice blend, you can save you know, a lot of the leftover spice and use it again with many different types of dishes. So check it in. It's right there in the comments. All the ingredients, all the procedures. If you have any questions about anything, again, shoot us a comment. We'll hit you right back as soon as we see it. And we're so excited to answer them for you guys. So really appreciate your time today. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope wherever you're at right now, I know this pandemic has been really hard on everyone. And we're all trying to stand firm together and we're going to make it through it. And things are going to start to free up. So patience is a virtue. Cook at home. If you got to stay home, home is safe and cooking is great for your happy belly. So thank you for tuning in to Aroma Surf and all of our videos. Thank you for turning in to episode two of Talk Story. I'll see you next week with Talk Story episode three, videos 11 through 15. And until then, tune in on Friday for our next street food video coming up in a few days. And uh, if we don't see you on the street or see you in the kitchen, stay safe, stay blessed. Thanks so much for watching. Aloha.